Today we are going to plan the navigation of our application. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. You are doing great if you've come this far. If you have challenges, feel free to let me know. So this is what the uh, navigation uh, looks like. Again, just to remind you, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe uh, so, so that you don't miss any updates. So now this is what we have. This does not make much sense. As you can see, uh, this, this is not what we want in our application. So this is the vehicle management system and we need, based on the models we identified, we need to have this navigation. So if we drop down on vehicle, we have vehicle maintenance, vehicle data, maintenance, movement, or trips. Then we have highest, we have the next nice one is parameters, which is also a drop down. So this is going to be some kind of an accordion. So or a collapsible panel, each of them is a panel that collapses just like we have in this one. So that is what we are going to do at this time. All right, so then this procedure says we are going to open the index page. If we, we are going to do it in the index page and then we are we later going to copy across. And we are going to locate the sidebar because this is what it is. It's, it's called the sidebar. So I'm going to just search for sidebar, control F. I'm going to say sidebar, sidebar, find and it finds sidebar. So you can see sidebar stats, and if you go further, you can see sidebar menu, sorry, sidebar end, all right? All right, so I'm going to kind of shift this panel from here so that we can see almost everything. And at this point, I'm also going to kind of reduce the, just give me a second. Okay, let me just collapse this. Static. Okay, perfect. Collapse this as well. So this is where the sidebar begins. You can see sidebar starts. You have div, id, blah, blah, blah. You have ul. So this is where the sidebar actually begins, ul. Every other thing inside is the is the li. So let me, let me just show you what I'm saying. Let me just open this and move this all the way to this part. I hope you can see everything. So let's say we have this dashboard. This dashboard is right here, this dashboard here. So when we have um, the second one, we have the first one, li, is the dashboard. The second one, li submenu. Here it says li slash li. Here we have li class is active. Li class is therefore the submenu. And we have forms, forms. When we drop down forms, we have two submenus. We have countries, we have form validation. And if we go to the next one, which is UI figures or UI features, which is this one, UI features, we have three items in there, elements, button, and grid. And then when we go to the next one, which is widget, so we have, which is this one, we have class is equal to, you see, it doesn't say class is equal to submenu. All right, so enough of talk. Let's just get started and fix this. We are going to fix it based on... Uh, the navigation structure that I already created right here in my website. So make sure you understand the possibly copy it out uh, by yourself. Maybe that will make it clearer for you. Okay, so so basically we want to capture all the entities we have in our application. So so we start with the first one dashboard, which is this li here. Okay, li is li li slash that's in the uh, dashboard, and we want to be for now, let's not worry about the 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 the, the link, the the href tag. Let's just make sure the navigation works. All right. The second one, instead of having forms, we want to have vehicles. Vehicles. And we have under vehicles, we have four items. So I'm just going to copy these two and paste across. I'm just copy these two and paste. Control V. And all right, so we have the first one is vehicle data, vehicle data. The second one is vehicle types. The third one is vehicle models and the fourth one is stitches values, vehicle. And the last one is status values. 
All right, so these for these, and it's going to be vehicle. So the next one is also should be parameters. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. So we have vehicle data. We have maintenance. So this actually should be. I'm going to take it down to the other to the to the following menu. So I'm going to just put it under. I have these. We have. These and they have UI features. Then we have these sub menus here. I'm going to just replace it. So, vehicle data in this case, we have vehicle make. Vehicle make. So, as for the first one, we have vehicle data and we have maintenance. And we have maintenance, we have movements. And we have hires or vehicle hires if you like. Okay, and we have vehicles. So the next one is this UI features is actually going to be parameters. And we have uh, the items are complete. So we do the same thing for people and the four items. So let me just copy this and reuse it to replace the widgets. Let me just copy this. So right now I've completed creating the navigation structure. For now they've not been linked. For now they've not been linked. So let's just test it just to make sure we've not broken anything. So I'm just going to click on this place just to test it. 
So hopefully we should have a neat navigation structure at this point. So let's see. So we now have a neat navigation structure, we can see everything. So I'm going to just expand this so that we see everything completely. So let me just reduce the size of this, uh, the page. All right, so we have vehicle data parameters, people, HR settings, accounts. This is exactly uh, the way we planned it right here. So everything is complete. And in the next part, we are now going to work on linking, adding the HR, um, the, the href, the links, to each of the pages that we created.